The ins and outs of insurance involving hurricane damage are complicated enough, but what about a storm that adds oil into the mix? Not a good situation. Up next, an insurance expert explains what might be covered and what might not fall under your homeowner's policy. 626 now, welcome back. Should oil from this disaster come ashore and hit individual homes, say because of a hurricane, there are some things property owners need to know in order to be covered or at least be as prepared as possible. Yeah, we learned that lesson the hard way already with Katrina. Joining us this morning by phone, Chip Merlin of the Merlin Law Group, a company specializing in insurance litigation. Chip, thanks so much for being with us today. Hey, it's great to be with you this morning. You've written down five ironic insurance twists that could apply to this situation. Let's start with number one. Raw crude oil from this spill, from this disaster, might not meet the definition of a pollutant in many homeowner insurance policies? As crazy as it might sound, this has been bounced around in our law firm. The homeowner's insurance policy has a standard provision which will pay $10,000 to clean up any pollutants that happen to reach your particular property as a result of an explosion. And the question is whether or not oil in its natural form is truly a pollutant the way pollutants are defined under the insurance policy. It's hopeful that this type of coverage actually is going to apply. Wow. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. And Chip, I understand there is a little good news. Homeowners may get some cleanup assistance based on the explosion clause of their insurance policy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but uh, the insurance policies often exclude uh, things such as oil and petroleum and things like that. But there's an exception to an exclusion. Sounds like you have to be a semantic to understand your own insurance policy. But this, this uh, exception is if, except for pollutants that reach your property as a result of an explosion, and there's going to be some arguments, obviously, that the oil that is now reaching the shorelines and possibly then if we have floods and things like that could be, be reaching your property as a result of an explosion. So we'll have to see how, how that plays out in the future. And Chip, unless, explain this one. Unless oil actually smears your physical house, it's likely you can't collect damages for, for damage to property or paved surfaces? Yeah, most people purchase property insurance thinking that you're getting your property insured. Unfortunately, property insurance, homeowners or business owners insurance, typically only insures the structures. It doesn't insure the land. As a matter of fact, there's a specific exclusions in many insurance policies specifically indicate it does not cover the land. It doesn't cover walkways and, and things like, like that. It won't even cover your driveway. It only covers the structures. All right, the fourth issue, Chip, uh, critical for us here in South Louisiana. If a hurricane does wash this oil ashore, insurance companies will likely deny damage claims, chalking it up to a storm surge. True? That's true, but there's one way around that. We all learned that lesson from Hurricane Katrina. Buy flood insurance. The National Flood Insurance has come out and indicated that if there is a storm surge as a result of a hurricane and oil is carried right along with that, that you will have coverage under your national flood policy. The big problem right now is because of some politics, the national flood program is shut down. You can't buy flood insurance right now. But when it gets back up and going, certainly go out and get it. And Chip, this one's a little odd. Folks who own beach rental property may not qualify to recover business insurance losses if the oil comes ashore. And, and, and that's one of the sad things about it. People go out and purchase business insurance expecting that their loss of earnings as a result of some type of natural catastrophe is going to cover them for those lost profits and revenue. Unfortunately, those policies typically require that the, in this particular case, the oil actually hit their property. Now, every single policy is a little bit different, and you need to be careful to go back and read your particular clauses because there might be such things as... Um, various contingent business interruption clauses within the policy, go back to your agent, ask your agent what those things mean, and see if you might be able to pick up some uh, insurance dollars after talking about this with your agent. Chip Merlin from the Merlin Law Group in Tampa. Thanks for uh, helping us work through some of the fine print this morning. Appreciate it. Hey, good luck to you guys out there. All right.